Jesus, his Hebrew name being Yeshua, often spoke in parables. His reasoning for doing so was as follows, Matthew 13. Then the disciples came and said to him, Yeshua, Why do you speak to them in parables? And he answered them, To you it has been given to know the secrets of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it has not been given. For to the one who has, more will be given, and he will have an abundance. But from the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. This is why I speak to them in parables, because seeing they do not see, and hearing they do not hear, nor do they understand. So Yeshua spoke to them in parables, so those that with ears to hear and eyes to see would understand, but those that did not would not understand. The message behind the parables reveals what is hidden. Matthew 13. All these things Yeshua said to the crowds in parables. Indeed, he said nothing to them without a parable. This was to fulfill what was spoken by the prophet. I will open my mouth in parables. I will utter what has been hidden since the foundation of the world. After several parables, Yeshua asks his disciples a question. And after their response, he offers another parable. Matthew 13, 51. Have you understood all these things? They said to him, Yes. And he said to them, Therefore, every scribe who has been trained for the kingdom of heaven is like a master of a house, who brings out of his treasure what is new and what is old. Scribes in ancient Israel were learned men whose business was to study the scriptures, transcribe them, and write commentaries on them. The scribes took their job of preserving Scripture very seriously. They would copy and recopy the Bible meticulously, even counting letters and spaces to ensure each copy was correct. Here Yeshua states that a scribe who has been trained for the kingdom of heaven is like a master of the house. The master keeps order in his house. He does not allow chaos to enter in. Likewise, a scribe keeps order in the kingdom of heaven by preserving the scriptures. The scripture is the treasure. Did you notice, however, Yeshua states that the treasure is both the old and the new. Yeshua did not state that we are moving from the old and the new is the new treasure. The scripture we are to treasure in our heart is both the old and the new. It is all priceless and it is all valuable instruction on how to live our life in the faith and build our relationship with Yahweh. Do not allow yourself to forget about the old treasure when you receive the new treasure. Just a thought. It is because of you our generous supporters who make it possible to offer these high quality teachings completely free of charge. If you feel led to support 119 Ministries so that we can continue this effort, please visit testeverything.net and click on the Support 119 tab. Learn how you can partner with us to take the whole Word of God to the nations.